Hello there, Larry Ricker, aka Nibby Mox here. I'm in the Boundary Waters on beautiful Slim Lake. Here with my friend Jim Dodd. We're in here for about a four or five day trip, and it's starting out glorious. It's calm water, beautiful blue sky. Anyway, that's uh, not what this video is about. A couple of weeks back, I was contacted by, I got an email from a person who had seen my videos on YouTube and offered to send me a product or two for, uh, with the understanding that I would do a review of them. So I said, okay, and I picked out a couple of products and they sent them to me. Now my channel, I'm not big into doing reviews. But I thought, well, if I got a free piece of equipment or two out of it, maybe uh, this, maybe I could do that, do it once in a while. So this is the review uh, video for one of the pieces. It's this right here. It's from the company. Is uh, it's a really weird name for a company. It's E D E U O. E Y E D U E I don't know something like that Eddie U E anyway and I'll, I'll put the name and the uh, links and stuff down below in the description anyway but uh, so what is this this is actually a camp chair in here it's similar to my REI flex light that I've had for about five or six years now. I wasn't really looking for another chair, but I thought, well, what the heck, if they're going to give me one for free for reviewing it, I'd, I'd go and, uh, and try it. And so that's what I'm doing. Now, the first thing that impresses me is the bag that the chair is in. With the REI bag, or REI chair, the bag only opened at the end and it was always tough to stuff the chair in. In fact, actually, after a while I quit using the bag, I just put the parts of the chair in the top of my pack and didn't bother with the bag anymore because I could literally spend 20 to 30 minutes trying to get my chair jammed into that bag, which was way too... The, the bag itself was undersized, had a constriction at the opening that made it even worse. And if you didn't get the legs folded and everything else just right, it just wouldn't go in. So this bag, on the other hand, has a zipper along the side, full length zipper. So it makes it easy to get the chair in and out. It's also not, not extremely tight. So once it's in the in the bag it's very easy to zip and unzip there's plenty of extra room so as with the rei it comes in two parts you have the chair itself and you have the frame i'll talk more about them in a minute also what came with this there's a little Ziploc bag that has a, a carabiner in it so you can attach it to the outside of your pack if you want to. And it also has an extra foot in it. So if you lose one of your uh, feet from your chairs, chair, you can, you've got an, you have a spare. I'm going to put those back in here. I'm going to zip this up so I don't lose anything. Now again, I'm comparing this to my REI chair because that's the only one that I've really had experience with. Uh, again, my chair, my REI chair, is about five or six years old. So some of the things, I know REI has changed a few things on them now, so some of the negatives that I talk about on the REI 
may not exist anymore, but they did with my particular chair. Now my REI chair, it came, once you got it out of the bag, it had a big fat rubber band to hold the legs and everything in place. And of course, two problems with a rubber band is one, you can lose it pretty easily. I kept my track of mine for several years, but eventually I lost it. The other problem with a rubber band, of course, is that it will lose, either lose its elasticity, will dry out, or will break, or all of the above. This comes wrapped with a Velcro strip. And what's even nicer with this Velcro strip is they actually have it attached to the legs, actually the cross piece of the frame, so you can't lose it. So what I am doing is I'm taking that and as soon as I get it out of the bag, I wrap the Velcro around itself so it can't get overly dirty and pick up debris and everything else. But you're not going to lose that and you know Velcro will last for well, almost forever. As with the REI, all the pieces fit together just like a you know, like a tent frame, a modern tent frame. Now one thing I noticed is that the finish on these poles, it's all uh, textured finish. Unlike the REI is kind of a smooth Probably doesn't make any difference in the long run, but I thought it was kind of a nice, nice touch. It has a nice feel to it. Might not feel quite so cold on a colder day. I don't know. But, like I said, it might, it not, might not be worth much, but it, it just felt like a nice touch to me. Now, with the chair itself, interestingly enough, with with the REI chair, they always recommended that you put the bottom on first and then put the top on. And they actually had loops at the top that you could slip your finger in and pull it to stretch it over the frame. With this chair, they do the opposite. They tell you to put it over the top first. There are no loops. But before I finish putting it together here, another neat thing about this bag is that you can slip it over the bottom of the frame so it keeps your bag from flying away for one thing. For another thing, because of the zipper, the way the zipper works, you now have a pouch that you can stuff things into while you're sitting in the chair. So with this one, again, there's no loops. What they tell you to do is instead of pulling this like this, you actually hang on to the fabric like that and slip it over the legs like so. Okay, so the next thing I noticed, my flex light has mesh the bottom and the top. The mesh is a lot finer mesh than what this is, but it's bottom and the top. And one of the problems I have during the summer when I'm sitting in the chair with shorts on or whatever, the mosquitoes will actually bite right bite me right through that mesh. I did notice that the newer flex lights now are also have a solid uh, bottom part. Like I said, the Flex light is a finer mesh. The material on this is a lot heavier too than what the uh, flex light is. <clears throat> it doesn't necessarily mean that the flex light is less uh, rugged, but uh, it could mean that this chair is, is heavier. Now I did do a side by side, you know, the old put one in each hand and see if you can tell a difference. And I couldn't tell a difference in weight between the two, but there probably is, and I'm suspecting that this is going to be 
heavier than the flex light but uh, it's, it's not significant that's for sure but I will put all the specs and everything down below on the screen later on in this video I, I don't have the specs off the top of my head the one spec I do have is that this uh, chair is rated for 230 pounds up to 230 pounds I know my flex light was 250 when I first bought it. Again, I don't know what that, if that's changed or not. I also don't know what the current price is for either one of these. What I did notice was <clears throat> when I set these up side by side at home, this chair actually sits about an inch or so higher off the ground than what my flex light does. Which, for somebody like me, somebody older, uh, the lower to the ground it is, the harder it is to get out of the chair. I especially had problems when I first got my flex light. I was a heck of a lot heavier than I am now, and I had a, a hard time getting out of the chair sometimes. Now that I've lost weight, it's uh, it's a lot easier. With the flex light, a lot of times after I've been sitting it for a while, it starts digging into my legs, the back of my leg. It also, sometimes my, my back starts uh, barking at me. This one I've sat in for about three hours now today and never had a problem. Never had an issue with my legs, never had an issue with my back. So I really feel that going forward, this is going to be my chair of choice. Not quite sure what I'm gonna do with the REI, but, uh, but I think now I don't know how the, whether this is going to last five years or not, like the flex light did. Hopefully it will. It looks like it's well constructed, but I'm not well trained in spotting things like that. It is, uh, you know, double, double sewn everywhere. It seems like it's good and solid. I didn't notice any problems with the connectors here or anything else, but you just never know until you used it for a while but I'm definitely going to be using this one now this does come in different colors um, I would have preferred something besides black but then I got it for free so what uh, you know what can I say but this overall I am impressed with this chair so far first blush I would say I recommend it I recommend at least that you look into this chair if you're in in uh, in the market for a camp chair a lightweight camp chair and you're under 230 pounds so I hope you enjoyed this review thanks for watching remember to comment like subscribe and all of that kind of good thing good stuff and uh, hope to see you on trail someday Nibby Mox out